The most frequently asked question I get as a singing teacher is how do I sing high? So in this video, I'm going to teach you. No BS, just facts, let's go. A couple of things we need to get out of the way first. You have to be consistent and this doesn't happen overnight. Things that are worth doing, like learning how to sing, take time, so stick with it. And if you follow my advice, not only will your high notes improve, but your overall voice will improve. It's like if you go to the gym and you say, I wanna get bigger thigh muscles. So what do you do? You start doing squats. What happens is your thigh muscles, yes, they get bigger, but your hamstrings get stronger. Your butt gets stronger, your core gets stronger. It's a chain reaction. So if you do these exercises that I'm about to give you, your high notes will emerge, but your overall voice will improve as well. So many positives here. P.S. If an exercise is too hard or you get confused, leave a comment down in the comment section below and I will answer it. Exercise number one, learn to lip trill. I talk about lip trills a lot. In many of my videos, I get all my students to do lip trills. They're just so valuable. They're essentially a cheat code for singers. Try it right now. If you're struggling to get it going, say the word bright and really accent the B and the R. Bright, bright, bright. But what do you even do with a lip trill? Literally anything. You can move through your range. You can sing a song. All of the subsequent exercises I give you in this video, you can do on a lip trill. They are magic. Lip trills help us with our breath support. Remember, if you want to sing high, you have to have good breath flow. Exercise number two are vowels. The vowels are E, E, A, O, U. And your goal as a singer is to be able to move through those vowels with as little change in your mouth as possible. Not a lot of people talk about vowels, but they're so important and they're gonna put you into that next level of singing. What you'll do in this exercise is sing one note, but move through all the vowels. So you'll go, now that we have a few tools at our disposal, the lip trill and vowels, it's time to sing some scales. What a scale is, is when you go up or down by step. To start us off simply, let's do a three note scale. So you'll do and so on and so on. Once you've mastered the three note scale, I want you to do the five note scale, which is the exact same thing, but just two more notes. Ah, and here, ah, and so on. Bonus tip, if you really wanna sing well and fast track your progress, what I would do is add a consonant, V or F, to the beginning of that scale. So instead of just ah, you would go va, va. What that's going to do is activate your breath even more so you have more fuel to work with. Consistent airflow means better singing and better high notes. Exercise number five, I'm calling a ya 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 exercise. This is the most complex exercise we've had so far and it's still really simple. So this is just proof that you don't need really complicated, difficult exercises to sing high notes. Sometimes the best thing you can do is just keep it simple. So here's what you do. You go, yeah, 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 yeah. But there's an added twist to this exercise. Instead of just singing it, you're going to add an action. I want you to stir a giant cauldron like a witch. You'll do it like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why am I getting you to do this? It activates your core. You need your abdominals engaged in the process of singing in order to sing high notes. In fact, if you've made it this far in the video, you can do every exercise I've given you so far with that witch cauldron movement. Exercise number six, I'm calling everybody, everybody sing. Everybody, everybody sing, sing. A really fun exercise that I made up on the spot. And no, I'm not trying to flex my creativity here. I'm trying to show you how simple this process can be. Learning how to sing high notes, just how to sing better in general. You can do it with really simple methods, really simple techniques. Just do them consistently and you'll see results. For this exercise, I want you to keep your witch's cauldron thing going. It doesn't have to be a witch's cauldron if you don't want to, it can be something different. As long as you're moving, as long as you're activating your core, that's great. And the fun part of this exercise, at least I think it's fun, is you can change the vowel on the word sing. So instead of everybody, everybody sing, sing, you could do everybody, everybody sing, sang. What that will do is help you experiment with different vowels higher in your range. So we have an octave leap at the very end. That's pretty difficult, so you're gonna have to practice that with different vowels. And again, just like our other vocal exercises, I want you to go up by semitone. So everybody, everybody sing, sing. Everybody, everybody sing, sing. And you can go higher and higher. If you want even more exercises that you can actually download and sing along with, click the link in the description. That's it for today's video, my friends. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.